to the House. I think it's a job well done. Good Mr. Speaker. Honourable Annie King. Mr. Speaker, I join the two previous speakers in supporting this bill brought to the House by the Honourable Trevor Mallard, a very good local member who works hard in his constituency. I'd like to congratulate uh, the Mayor, um, Ray Wallace, for the Hutt Council, um, who I'd never mentioned was here to see this witness today. Um, but um, the work that has been done by uh, Mayor Ray and his council is to be applauded. I'd like to also thank the Select Committee, and this was one of those bills that went through the Select Committee, uh, very well chaired by Nikki Wagner, who gave good opportunity for people to make submissions and for there to be input on what was seen to be a very sensible piece of legislation for a local community. Uh, yeah, well, in fact, perhaps uh, Nikki Wagner would like to chair finance and expenditure. Um, she has got a very good way about her. Um, but I have to say that um, I would like to see this bill extended across many councils uh, throughout New Zealand, and I hope it does become a government bill, and perhaps um, uh, Trevor Mallard, as a new minister in the next Labor government in two and a half years' time, might like to take this issue up to, be part, uh, to become part of a government legislation. Because I have to say I was highly annoyed, uh, highly annoyed when I went out of my house last week and found on my dark green garage a piece of tagging. And I have to say, Mr Speaker, there was absolutely nothing artistic about this tagging on my garage at all. So I say to, to uh, Nikki Wagner, there is, a, there is a difference between something that looks um, appealing and attractive or, or even acceptable than somebody's ridiculous scrawl over your garage. And the worst thing about it is that you don't actually necessarily have any of that paint left to paint it out. So this has been, I think, um, a very good move for local authorities. And it is a move because they had a particular problem out in the hut. In fact, um, though a hut is on a par with one of the worst areas for tagging in New Zealand. And the worst tagging is the tagging that is not removed from uh, private property. I mean, businesses are very keen to get it off their businesses. Most residents are keen to get it off their fences. But there are always going to be some private residents who don't actually live in the area or they don't get around to cleaning it up. And what it does to a community, I think, is really gives a message that somehow or other people don't care about their community, that they don't have pride in it. And as, as Trevor Mallard said, that in fact it can make the place look as if it is unsafe. And so removing uh, graffiti off private property as soon as possible um, is very important, particularly um, if the, local, uh, if the uh, private resident doesn't get around to doing it. Well, we looked at the, uh, this bill, and actually there weren't a lot of changes made to the original bill, but one of the things was, that we did do was to clarify the purpose statement, to state that the purpose to allow the removal from private property that is visible from a, um, a public place and could not be any wider. This isn't about a grab by local authority to invade people's private property and slap their paint on other people's property. It is very much um, uh, narrowed to the removal on private property that's visible from a public place. Um, and there was some concern at the initial stage that maybe councils might misuse this power. Um, it also does, we also said we require the council to state on the graffiti removal notice the, the power that they are relying on and to require the person removing the graffiti to take a copy of that notice and carry out adequate identification with them when re removing the graffiti, um, because it is important that the right people do the job, that they've got the right authorisation. And these were some of the minor things that we actually did uh, correct in the bill itself. But overall, it is a very good bill. Um, it is supported by members of this House. And, you know, sometimes the public out there think that we spend all our time battling with each other over legislation and issues. There are times when we come together on an issue and we agree. And I think there'd be very few people around the country that would disagree that graffiti is unwanted in our community. And if we can do something to remove it as quickly as possible, then it's good for all of us. 
course, those who tag your property would like to see it there as long as possible. It's kind of like showing off, uh, and it's showing off at the expense of people, um, innocent people who don't deserve it. Congratulations to the Hutt Council for this bill. Uh, we support it, and uh, I hope it can be looked at for other councils in New Zealand. Honourable Dr Nick Smith. Uh, Mr Speaker, I just want to make a brief uh, contribution.